Hello all, Shoestring here. I'm doing a review, and this is on a relatively inexpensive charge controller from Elnex. It, of course, is a Chinese company, and this one will run you around, well, all of them I've seen is under $40. I'll put a link down below in the description, and if you like it and you're interested, go ahead and click on it, and uh, it'll bring you right up to this one, which, like I said, is right around $40. Anyway, for what this does, that's actually pretty good. Make sure you all get a good picture of this. Uh, yes, full disclosure, they sent this to me. And I give you my honest opinion, what I think, how it works, what it looks like. This one here, of course, too bad you can't feel it. It is really well made. It, all the buttons and everything are really nice. I like it. It has all types of protections you would expect from a charge controller. Um, this one's really thin, too. It's really, really super thin, and I like that. Let me pick this up and show it to you. It's really thin for what it does, and I like that. Uh, it, of course, has a nice LCD display. It's 1224 volts, uh, so you'll know it's a PWM charge controller, just so you'll know that. It's not a MPPT. It's a uh, PWM. Some folks think less of those. So you should know that. It also, of course, does uh, all different types of batteries. It does AGM, gel, flooded, lithium. It's also waterproof. Now, that doesn't mean you can stick it under the water, mind you. But it does a lot of good things that if you're going to use it on a boat or something like that, it can take splashes, it can take sprays. Uh, it does pretty good with that type of stuff. I've uh, read up on it even though I have not had it outdoors, but it looks like it's suitable for outdoors simply for the way it's made. It says it can do water, water spray, of course, rain, condensation, and we're going to take a look and see if it actually does a lot of the stuff it says. It also has a lot of protections. According to uh, the paperwork, it has a built-in temperature protection, over-voltage, over-current, over-charging, of course, uh, over discharging protection, load protection, short circuit, all types of stuff like that. And it has a temperature sensor, which tells you this temperature of the battery. So next what we're going to do, now that I give you a little rundown on it, is we're going to connect it to the battery. I have a AGM type sealed lead acid battery. And then we're going to hook it up to that. But first I want to point out, down at the bottom where you have your terminals, you can see they're very easily laid out where you can see them. This says solar. You can see the solar panel. And this one is battery. You can see the battery. It has the plus and the minus. Make sure you hook them up correctly, plus and minus. And we're going to do the battery first. You hook up the battery first so the charge controller will know if it's a 12 or 24 volt system. So we're going to do positive to positive, negative to negative. And as you see, it comes on. It's running through its little paces there. Now, to set up the type of battery type you have, you simply hold for three seconds where it says type. One, two, three. Let it start blinking. Now you can move it. See at the bottom there it says lithium. And then there it says LTO. And there's gel, and there's AGM. That's where we're going to leave it at, because we are on AGM. You can see it right down there, hopefully. And now it's locked in. So, it says the battery is at 12.8 volts, and is set up for AGM, because we have an AGM-type battery here. So now we're going to hook up the solar panels. The little solar panel right there, and it takes us down to place, same thing, plus, minus. All right, so I've now hooked the solar panel up. It's going back through all of its setup, because now it can sense the solar panel. You can see up here, it has a picture of the solar panel. And you can also see at the top where it's charging. You can also see this in amps or volts. There it says amps coming into the system. 
and volts where the battery is. So, hopefully the camera can show it. This is very easy to see. And these are very simple to go through. Down here is your temperature sensor, if you want to use that. And that's the basic setup. It's nice, it's clean, it's simple. It's really easy to do. They give you a very nice manual that comes with it. It's in English, which I always appreciate. And it is in some detail with graphs and diagrams, and I like that. Because a lot of times with these, you get no manual at all, or you get just some little piece of paper that doesn't really tell you anything. But this does pretty well on telling you what's going to happen. It even tells you the five stages of charging that it does, if you're interested in that give you a quick look at the manual right here because I'm not going to go into anything I'm giving you a general review and overview of it there it is as you can see it is charging and uh, it won't take long to charge it up because I keep most of my batteries fully charged most of the time anyway so if you have any questions on this put it down in the comments if you'd like to see me set it up from the very beginning then tell me that I'll, of course, do a review on this in the future after I have it run a system for a little bit and tell you how it goes. Uh, but overall, I think for the price, considering everything, it's a pretty good product. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think. If you have one of these, please tell us, everyone watching the channel, what it is you like about it or don't. A final word here. The charge controller has finished charging up the battery, it says 13.6, where this battery is supposed to be. And what I find interesting is it says it's full, F-U-L, and has stopped charging. I've just never seen one at this price range that will actually say it's full and has stopped charging. And the little bar at the very top says, I hope you can see that, right over there it says 100%. Anyway, I find that very interesting. A lot of these inexpensive charge controllers, you have to guess. This one tells you right when it's full. Okay, so that I found that cool, and I wanted to point it out and show it to you guys. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it, and shoestring 